here are a few ideas you can use on your project life spreads. The first one is watercolours. I love using watercolours to create pattern backgrounds. You can do stripes, polka dots, just fill a whole page with colour. I usually have some idea of what photos I'm using or cards I'm using for that week and that way you can use colours to coordinate with your photos. Just let it dry off and then all you need to do is trim it down to the right size. Next is shaker pockets and you don't just have to put shaker pockets into the actual page protectors. This one here is just a 3x4 that I've cut out of a spare one and I've trimmed a photo down to fit into it, added my sequins and then I'm just closing up the sides with my fuse tool. Then you've got a wee pocket that you can slip in and it doesn't matter if the other side is clear or not. love using found papers. This is just a card that somebody sent me this week. Beautiful pattern on it. You trim it down and pop it in. There's all sorts of packaging you can use in your actual project life spreads, but one of my favourites is to peel off the leftovers from Alphas. So it can take a wee while to peel them off. And then you've got this textural sticker sort of but you do have to be careful what paper you put it down onto one that's a bit plainer tends to work better than heavily patterned ones like that card I had there first and then you just trim it down stitching is a go-to favorite of mine for this one here all I've done is printed out a template from Photoshop onto just some scrap card. That way you know you're getting your holes in the right place. Just poke it through onto a mat or a mouse pad and then start stitching. You don't need to knot your threads, just use a bit of washi tape on the back. No one will ever see it. Same when you run out of thread, just start a new one. And then just carry on stitching until you're all done. Repeat stamping is another favourite of mine. Ways to switch it up a bit is to stamp on a diagonal. And also you can offset your stamps so it makes a bit more of a pattern. A good way to get a bit more use out of your existing project life cards is to cut out the bits you want and turn them into embellishments rather than cards. You can use your paper trimmer or scissors to cut out the parts that you want or even some of your punches to make shapes. And a super simple way to um, embellish your project life cards is with digital stamps. Just, you can either add them straight on your phone or here I'm using Photoshop just to add a few stamps to my photos before I print them out. You can adjust the size, change the colour, add more than one. It's a really easy way to embellish your photos. And here is my spread with a few of these techniques on it. I wouldn't necessarily always use all of them on one spread, but this week I have. Tied it all together by using a pink, red and blue colour scheme. So then all I have to do to finish off the cards is to round the corners, stick down my photos, add a few embellishments, and it makes it a really quick and easy way to finish a spread. I'm going to add some heart stickers just to tie in that fave heart there. These are red glitter ones and I love them. So I'm just adding a couple and then I wondered whether I was going to add some more hearts but in the end I've left it. My journaling this week I've just typed onto some 
printer paper and I'm just cutting that out and sticking them on the different cards. I'm not a big fan of my handwriting so using a typewriter is a simple way to add some journaling. And then all I've got left to do is just add some alpha stickers to my title card and I'll be all done.